Welcome everyone um, to this Education Abroad presentation on short-term pro program options for College of, of Natural Sciences. My name is George Agris. I'm the Education Abroad Coordinator for Asia, Italy, and Greece. Online uh, as well, I have my colleague, Vanessa Hayward, who will be um, helping with the, helping monitor the Q&A box. So feel free to add any questions or comments you have into that. And uh, let's get started. So I'll start with CSU's land acknowledgement. Colorado State University acknowledges with respect that the land we are on today is the traditional and ancestral homelands of the Arapaho, Cheyenne, and Ute nations and peoples. This was also a site of trade, gathering, and healing for numerous other native tribes. We recognize the indigenous peoples as original stewards of this land and all the relatives within it. As these words of acknowledgement are spoken and heard, the ties nations have to their traditional homelands are renewed and reaffirmed. CSU is founded as a land-grant institution, and we accept that our mission must encompass access to education and inclusion. And significantly, that our founding came at a dire cost to the native nations and peoples whose land this university was built upon. This acknowledgement is the education and inclusion we must practice in recognizing our institutional history, responsibility, and commitment. Well, like I said, I'm, I'm George Agris. I use he, him, and his pronouns. Um, my region is Italy, Greece, and Asia. That's how the, the geographic area in which I advise, in which I advise. Uh, I also, um, manage a few faculty-led programs, and I also work with our incoming exchange students. I studied abroad in Japan, um, in Hikone, and uh, taught English there as well. Um, in the picture, um, those are two little guys are my host brothers. Um, not all programs have the option to stay with the host family, but I think many who have the experience would agree that it's one of the most rewarding parts of their time abroad. So I, I would encourage you to consider it if possible. So you might have already attended the Education Abroad 101 presentation, but if you haven't already, uh, there's, a there's a presentation happening tomorrow at 9 a.m. This goes over an overview of Education Abroad at CSU, skills you gain from Education Abroad, why it's important, and a breakdown of different program types and terms and that kind of thing. Um, before we jump in, I want to dispel some myths about Education Abroad, some common myths. First things first, an education abroad should not delay your graduation despite what you might have heard. In fact, with good planning, uh, it will actually enhance your degree and can help you graduate even on time, maybe even early. Second, there is a myth that the education abroad is more expensive than CSU tuition and cost of living in Fort Collins. There are expensive options, that's true, but there are also many inexpensive options and um, many programs that are similar in price to a semester at CSU and living in Fort Collins. Third, if you start early and talk with your academic advisor, you can actually fulfill course requirements by going abroad. The course could be required for your major or you could just take elective uh, classes. We recommend getting starting early and mapping out with your academic advisor or academic success coordinator how your education abroad can fit into your degree. And we have a risk management team that supports students while abroad. It's true that our risk management team have certainly been busy since the time of the pandemic, but um, we have an international risk manager that is constantly monitoring and communicates with students uh, some of the challenges and risks um, that that you could face while you're abroad. Um, but by working together with your college and others around campus, um, our goal is to foster safe and successful experiences abroad. Nearly every CSU department now has a recommended programs list. Um, these lists were created in collaboration with your department um, to find ideal programs that fit your major and interests. Um, this is just a start. It's just a starting point, but you can be confident that there are, is a program on this list that could fulfill some degree requirements you may need. Um, be sure to communicate with your academic advisor, like I said, about your academic needs 
they'll know where study abroad can best fit into your degree plan. Um, and remember, if you don't see a program for your major department, contact your education abroad coordinator just to be sure you didn't miss one that could be a good fit for you. In yesterday's session, we looked at some semester programs for the College of Natural Sciences. Uh, today, we'll look at some short-term options for education abroad for CNS majors. Start with Dolphin Behavior and Physiology in Honduras. Really cool program. It's two credits. They have winter break and summer options. The program is based in Roatan, which is an island off the northern coast of Honduras at Anthony's Key Resort. Um, and the program leader that leads this is Shane Canadas. Uh, some interesting facts about this program. It's a field-based program. Um, so it's offered as an eight-day research experience in Roatan, Honduras, where you'll study animal behavior, animal psychology, and conservation methods um, through the Roatan Institute for Marine Sciences. Classroom lectures and informal discussions provide the framework, backbone, um, to develop an understanding of the subject matter, dolphin behavior and physiology from an ecological and, ev and evolutionary perspective. Field work allows students to develop the skills necessary to conduct preliminary research. So if you're considering a research um, in animal science later on, this could be uh, a potential starting point from where you could explore further options on the road. Definitely worthwhile to consider. Next, we have, we have SAI's program at John Cabot University in Rome, Italy. This is a solid recommended program for math and computer science majors with coursework for each of those. It's available in summer with different blocks in May, June, and July from three weeks to 11 weeks. The language is Italian, but all of your coursework will be in English, so you won't have to worry about that. And Rome is a pretty international hub, so you won't have a problem navigating the city in English. You'll find people that speak it quite fluently. For housing, students um, live in apartments that come fully furnished and each are equipped with Wi-Fi. So got your tech needs all satisfied. Um, JCU, John Cabot University, is an international institution located in the Trastevere neighborhood on the same side of the Tiber River as the Vatican City. The area has a bohemian feel and is known for its trattorias, artisan shops, and the Basilica Santa Maria in Trastevere, uh, one of the oldest churches in Rome, by the way. Campus is in pretty close proximity to all of Rome's activities, museums, parks, and historic landmarks. So I don't think you can go wrong with this program either. Lastly, we have Criminology and Criminal Justice in Prague, Czech Republic. Um, it's a rec it is a recommended program for psychology majors. Um, they offer six credits. It's offered over the summer, over six weeks. Um, program leader is Dr. Prabha Unithan and Dr. Tara Opsal of the Department of Sociology. The program is based in Prague um, in Central Europe. Students live in apartments uh, that are fully furnished, uh, take two advanced level sociology courses. I think one of the major highlights that students say about this program is the built in field work and visits to the prisons and courts, among other landmarks and sites. All right, let's get into an interesting topic how to earn a CSU or transfer credits from abroad. This is a big question we get about. Um, from students about how transfer credits work. And the question really depends on the program type. So the type of program you are, you are considering. And so we're here to help you work through this process. So for each of the programs we saw before, the way the credits will transfer back to CSU works a little different. For the CSU sponsored programs, those faculty-led programs we saw, those are CSU credits. So those will just transfer like they normally would. Um, for an affiliate program like, uh, like SAI John Cabot, that will transfer a little bit differently. Um, for, the, for the SAI program, 
you'd fill out what we call a transfer credit form. All students um, that are doing, um, that are transferring credits from universities abroad will have to fill out this form. Um, and the, it basically goes like this. You will start the evaluation by submitting the form to the registrar's office. They'll conduct an initial evaluation of all your courses that you list out. Then your academic advisor will list, um, will go in and offer um, and approve them as a secondary authorization for those classes. Once you get approval from the registrar's office and from your academic advisor, this form becomes complete. And this is an example of what the form will look like. You'll work with a number of people at CSU over the course of, over the course of your search and over the course of your planning. Um, three main people you'll work with will be your education abroad coordinator, like myself or some of the others, uh, CSU academic advisor, so your academic success coordinator, um, person you should be meeting with at least once a semester, um, especially if you're planning an education abroad early on in your career. And um, your program advisor or faculty or group leader. This is someone um, that you'll get to know um, before your program abroad and probably of course the program and when you return. So definitely um, three key people. Um, but you'll also interact with several other professionals at CSU before and after you arrive. There we go. All right. Um, these are all the education abroad coordinators uh, that work in, in that work in education abroad. Um, we all cover different regions. My region, like I said, is Italy, Greece, and Asia. We have Latin America, semester of C, Europe, Oceania, Spain, Middle East and Africa, um, UK and Ireland, internships and research all over the place. So there's tons of options for you. We're really excited to speak with you. Uh, you can schedule an appointment to meet with one of us or two of us or three of us, however many you'd like. Um, our coordinators specialize um, in different areas in addition to the geographic areas. So um, be sure to bring lots of questions. If you haven't decided where you would like to go abroad yet, um, we'll talk more with you about like the next steps. So you have an idea of what comes next. Um, it's, I think a really good way to start off would be to ask yourself the question, why am I actually going abroad? A lot of students want to enter into um, a search without properly addressing that question first. But if you address that question first, it'll make it a lot easier um, to meet with certain people, um, uh, to meet with certain coordinators, um, and you'll be able to um, engage a little bit more in the process. Um, we have three peer advisors that work in our office. Um, Brennan studied abroad at, at Swansea University in Wales. He studied engineering. Claudia studied psychology and ex Provence France. And Tia studied apparel and um, apparel production and design in Morocco. Um, and all these students have very different study abroad experiences and kind of, kind of represent um, the landscape of programs that we offer. So if you're interested in a staff and faculty-led program or an exchange program or a, a program with an affiliate provider, these three people would be happy to help answer any questions you have. So did you know probably that the majority of your scholarship grants and loans you receive at CSU and financial aid can go with you abroad? So over 99% of your aid will go with you. That's a really important um, thing to remember. To learn more, feel free to join us every day at the fair at 9.30 a.m. for a financial aid and scholarship presentation. Um, there you can meet Cindy and Evelyn, which are here. Uh, they work in the Office of Financial Aid and work specifically with students that are thinking about an education abroad sometime in their CSU career. The presentation will be focusing on scholarships and financial aid and the session is live, so make sure to bring your questions. Scholarships rarely fund the full program. Common myth that scholarship will cover everything you have or your financial aid will cover everything you have. Um, they can help close gaps between your current financial aid and what you 
will need for your abroad, but they will hardly ever cover the entire cost of your program. We have um, scholarships and funding workshops throughout the year, so you can find and obtain more funds. Uh, you can make an appointment with either one of these, um, either Evelyn or Cindy, um, and they can kind of help you plan out a budget and plan out your financial aid for, for the term. So those are the basis. Those are the basics on getting started. And here are some next steps to consider. Plan out what class you need to graduate. Review your program of study. Meet with your academic success coordinator or your academic advisor to see if they align with what you actually need to graduate on time. You can visit the Start Here page. You'll see a map of the entire process from, from planning and researching a program to meeting with all the key people you need to meet with at CSU to going abroad and even, even um, your return from abroad. Everything is on that Start Here page. It's an excellent, it's an excellent anchor point. Um, make an appointment with one or many of us, the education route coordinators. We can um, help help kind of um, guide you in the right direction of uh, the best fit program for you. And make an appointment with a, our financial aid counselor for education abroad, Cindy, Cindy or Evelyn, and just start applying to programs and scholarships. It's really really that easy. We have um, several different sessions coming up. In addition to our presentation, I definitely encourage you to attend the Education Abroad 101 presentation and our financial aid and scholarship presentation uh, held every morning at the fair, so tomorrow and Friday. Um, in addition, if you missed a session and you wanna learn more, head over to the Colorado State University International Programs YouTube channel. And you can find all the recordings of our sessions and more there. In addition, I wanted to highlight two upcoming sessions that are um, that some of our affiliate partners are presenting on. Programs for first time international travelers at 2 p.m. by ISA Today, and a presentation later on today at three of semester C. We hope to see you there. Thanks everyone for joining today. I hope you all learned a lot from George and we'll be excited to see you at other sessions at the fair. <laughs>